Okay. Now, it is obvious that above Raiden and above this female is the idea that Horus is superimposed on her. So above Zeus, Thor, etc. Why? Because Pharaoh, okay, was, a, you know, had a greater civilization with everything considered than Greece or Rome or the Norse, what have you. But it's more than that. It is the exact nature of the idea. Okay, so why did he? Because with martial arts, not with Western arrogance, he founded, okay, in the first dynasty, Egypt. Okay, so not the fake later on depictions of Horus, okay, that look like some kind of gender neutral guy at the beach, but the idea of a surgical striking tall African martial art hero, right? The pinpointed ideal. Now, that doesn't mean that some people are short, aren't, you know, better than some people are tall. That's a story for another day, but we're talking about the pinpointed ideal, okay? So, we see here with the hands and, and the talons, right? Talons and talents, divine and diving, right? Divine, right? Zeus is a rape called deity. Thor was associated with the Vikings and a lot of rape called stuff. Horus is this kind of sensitive associated with the falcon, which is sensitive and fair and noble and a god of, uh, excuse me, the son of God, who's a deity of justice and righteousness and truth, who avenges sin, a true son of God, a true person of justice, a true being of justice, where Raiden is not. He's a mere uh, um, uh, Mortal Kombat character that's based on some Eastern mythology or something like this okay and it's also kind of amalgamated with the 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 genetic expression of the family cult, the cult families that followed zeus and were the priests and were the uh, statues and the ideas that they were trying to reproduce and the patriarchal lines and so on and so okay so you need to understand that first why it is obvious that if you have sense that you're going to prefer me if you're a female okay now let's 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 get to this here Let's start with black people, okay? So we can kind of show you that, hey, I'm just being fair. I'm not racist and so on and so forth. Okay. So this guy obviously has is darker black than I am. Okay. Okay. He looks like he's Nigerian-ish, but possibly African-American. Maybe he's English. Okay. It's from The Roommates, 1.5 million, excuse me, 1.4 million views two years ago. Kevin Samuel teaches men how to level, level up. I assume it's this guy they're talking about and this guy's a guest or something, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay. He's trying to be like this guy right here, right? You see that? He says, look at this guy. Look at how he's dressed. Look at his car. Look at how he's dressed. Look at how he's dressed. Hey. Now think of a more corporate version of this female or this female. Think about her physiology, her body. Okay? She is not that sensitive. She's not that smart. Okay? She's not profoundly divine. She's just kind of a pretty cute black girl. Maybe about 18, maybe even 16. So imagine someone more this guy's age. She would prefer this guy of everybody in this picture. She would prefer him to him. She would prefer him to me. She would prefer him to H.P. Lovecraft and Bruce Lee and this guy right here and this politician right here and the real life version of this guy who, you know, you know, you know, the, 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 not, not a divine or a satanic person per se, but just someone who looks like this. She would prefer him to someone who looks like this. Okay. Because of the kind of sexual relationship they would have. Because of the kind of social relationship they have. Social, political, sexual, and to some degree economic. She would feel like he's a good fit. And even knowing that I'm Christ, she would prefer to date this guy. Now, it gets a little bit complicated. okay? Because she would know that she deserved to be front and center on national TV. Okay, if, if I was given my rightful place, and if I'm not, does she want to be persecuted? No. So she doesn't have heart and she doesn't want to be put on blast as like this mediocre looking chick who happens to be married to Christ. Okay, now on the other hand, there's a part of her that would. But when we look at everything, the simplest answer is that she would prefer this guy. She would prefer this guy as rich and famous. If we have the same amount of money, she'd prefer this guy. If I'm persecuted, she'd prefer this guy. She prefers this guy and his lifestyle. Okay. So if I was given my rightful place as the top martial artist ever, and, and everyone knows I'm giving lots of money to charity, she preferred to party with this guy than to be with me and give money to charity and live a kind of middle class life. She preferred to live an upper middle class life with this guy and be more selfish is the simplest answer. Now, do I know this female for sure? No. 
But I'm sure we can all agree that the logic is sound and the vast majority of people like that would think that way. Pretty straightforward. Part of this has to do with Freemasonry and sex cults, but that's a video from another day. Okay. Now, let's look at this guy's girlfriend. Okay, she looks like she's English-ish. He looks like he's English-ish. I don't know if they're Rockefellers or not. This is from some kind of California insider video, uh, probably about homelessness or paying taxes or something like this. Okay. She, assuming she's not his sister, will say females like her would prefer someone like him. Okay, there's racial reasons, sexual reasons, social reasons. They feel like they're a good fit. She's saying, he's my type. She would not prefer me persecuted. She would not prefer me not being, you know, if, if we have the same amount of money, she'd prefer him to me, okay? Even though I'm God's son and I'm more coordinated, I'm more intelligent than this guy. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay, we'll get to why I'm right about that to a T in a second, okay? She would prefer this guy. Okay, I'm sure you all know why that is, okay? It's also his physiology. It's, 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 it's kind of like animals in nature, right? The parrot prefers the parrot. The dolphin prefers the dolphin, okay? The bird, the dog, the seal, the elephant, you name it. They, you know, it's how it comes together in that sort of way, okay? There's a reason why there's animal styles in martial arts and, and animals were being compared to people in Egypt and they're, you know, they're saying they have animal characteristics and animus means spirit where we get the word animal and animation and so on and so forth, okay? So now let's go to her. This is where it gets interesting. When we look at her and we say, if she wasn't under potent mind control, she would actually prefer me. Now bear with me here. Bear with me. This one is a bit confusing. Okay? Part of the reason why is that she is Ethiopian-ish. Okay? And I'm half white. She's Ethiopian-ish and I'm half white. Look at her exact facial expression. She's more in touch with reality. See how this person is ditzy, kind of out of touch. I'm out of touch. This chick's like, I don't know. This chick's like, I'm a spoiled brat. This chick's like, I'm out of touch, rich person. She's like, I'm trying to get to know you for who you are. That's what her facial expression is. Her ability to kind of zoom in with her brain and her look. You see what I'm saying? This chick's like, I'm an out of touch mind. She's like, I get it more. So as she's looking at her options, she would say, hey, this guy's a rich, privileged white guy. This guy is a black guy, run-of-the-mill black kind of token minority. This is an arrogant business black guy, whether he is or not. You know, this is what she would believe, what, we, what is logical to assume that her and the vast majority of people with her characteristics and, part, and a position on the spectrum relative to her characteristics, her combination of characteristics and where those characteristics are on the spectrum of those ideas, such as attentiveness, loyalty, focus, right, willpower, okay, uh, desire to achieve the point of life and so on and so forth, okay? So she would actually prefer me. Now, part of it is because I'm Ethiopian-ish, okay? Part of it is because she's smarter than these other females. She's smarter than this black girl. She's smarter than these, these two white chicks. She's smarter than this white chick. She's smarter than this mine. Well, how do we know that? Look at her exact style. She's smart enough to say, I'm going to present myself that way. She's smart enough, you know, look at the way her, her hair is. She's smart enough to say, hey, I'll make myself really presentable, really friendly. I'm going to be what uh, a, a, a decent guy really wants. Where she's just like, well, I'm a rich, privileged white chick. He's like, I'm a goofy black chick. I'm a clueless white chick. I'm a spoiled brat. You see what I'm saying? So you get it, right? The females who have more sense are not going to accept the terms of the devil, but she's, you know, she has more sense than these other females, but she doesn't have that much sense. So the bar, when you persecute me and make me the most ideal person ever, is too high for her to reach. It's too high for her to reach. It's too high for her to reach. It's too high for her, for her, and for her, okay? Which means, in reality, all of them, if they were smart, would prefer me. Why? Now, let's prove that to a T. Pay close attention. I'm going to give you five points from the Bible that are universal points. And if you don't believe in God, think of it as an agnostic. If you don't believe in God, as God is the source of righteousness and justice, it's existing in the principles of righteousness, which elevate you above other people. Proverbs 2130, there is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. So this guy's going to argue he should be seen as ideal or he should lead. There's nothing, there's no inside wisdom or plan that is greater than following universal pinpointing moral precision and focus more intensity. He has not done that. 
We'll prove that in a second. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet are caught in the net they have hidden. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. So Proverbs 9, 15 through 17. Okay, it's also at this point, it's a Judeo-Christian society still for the most part. Okay, so the nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. So all the groupies, all the typical people, him, 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 you know, because he was an agnostic movie star, him, okay, him, okay, all these, these women, all these people are typical. So they have fallen into the pit they have dug. How did they dig it? We'll get to that. We'll get to that, right? See, the Lord is known by his is acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands, okay? What did they do and what didn't they do? The wicked go down to the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. They went after ill-gotten gains and conformity instead of universal pinpointing moral precision, okay? Next point. Righteousness guards the man of integrity, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. So how are we going to prove that this guy looks like a nice guy, friendly guy? She thinks he's a great date, might even think he's the ideal date. How can we prove that this guy is overthrown by his wickedness. Okay, let's get to the next point. Proverbs 18, 9. One who's slack in his work is brother to one who destroys, right? One who's slack in his work, one who's not being morally precise, is brother to somebody who worships the devil, whether this guy or not. Let's say this person, let's say that was a guy, is brother to one who destroys. Here's an evil Raiden. This guy is brother to this guy on a planet, especially on a planet where 9 million people starve to death every year. Three million of them children. All these little girls being sexually molested. One in four little girls are sexually molested by the age of uh, 18. One in six little boys. Okay, this guy's not doing enough. He's like, I'm a mere celebrity. I'm controlled opposition at best. You know why he's allowed to be a celebrity? Because he's not doing enough. You know why this guy is allowed to be a politician? He's not doing enough. You know why Bruce Lee's allowed to be a celebrity? He's not doing enough. You know why this guy's allowed to have uh, a, do dating advice and this hot chick shows up? Because he's not doing enough. You know why these guys are allowed to get much that much money and fame? Okay, 1.4 million views because they're not doing enough. So they may as well be goofy right here because they're brother to this guy. They're from the same spiritual genetic genome, so to speak. Okay, Revelation 18.4. Then I heard another voice from heaven say, come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins. It says, come out of her, right? Come out of this global evil system. How do we know it's global? Because it says right there in Psalm 9, the nations have fallen to the bit they have dug, right? Governments are corrupt. And people who conform to the cultures that governments allow are corrupt. That's simple, okay? So then I heard another voice from heaven say, come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues, for her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. God has remembered not only the destroyer's crimes, but the, the lack of action, the inaction, the indifference of the conformists, the wise builder, building up to the ideal man versus mere conformists who are slack in their work at best. And at times, brother to one who, at times the very person destroying front and center. So they're, they're destroyers in their own right. So how can people who are slack in their moral work, moral, mental, spiritual, and romantic are connected, be equal or greater to this guy? And why doesn't every one of these females know that and respond by their actions? Because they all are mere fools going down to the realm of the dead. For those of you who are monotheistic, you know that for sure. For those of you who are agnostic, you can at least say so to speak. While I am the true leader and the true ideal, the top martial arts ever, the peak and pinnacle of focus, moral intensity, and universal pinpointing moral precision, and it's wrong to cheat me out of my right to lead, it's wrong to reject me. Thank you.